Okay, so quick review. When you pick up the harmonica? Yes. Yes. Give it a try. Oh. Good. Good. And you're ready to play. Was it right? Oh, it was that right. That was good. That was good. <laughs> uh, you'll practice doing your draw, draws, and blows. We don't need to do this right now, but just more of a quick review for you. Example 1.2, then. And example 1.4. You can hold it whatever way you want. Okay. Then practice the hold and then play the same exercise with the hold. Okay. Getting, making, always making sure that your hands are not in the way of your mouth. Yes. And you yes. may do this a couple times. Well, that's, that might be better actually. Give it a try. So stick that harmonica deep in your mouth, open mouth, insert a harmonica. Okay, now bring it in. There's a big hole oh. on your left hand side. And remember the webbing. Good. So that's something to keep in mind. And remember, you do want to have it in front of your webbing. So right now you're behind it. Oh, right. In, oh, I see. That's right. Try that one more time. Yep. Uh oh. Finger will go on practice top, yeah. time. Yeah, it'll take some take some time. Okay. So you'll practice your hold, and then you'll work on on that as just an example of getting away from a common issue, which is holding too much harmonica, causing your lips to move off the harmonica, and make what we didn't want in the beginning a smaller mouth, which is going to equal poor tone. Okay. Uh, next, you'll be uh, working on your single note, and that's going to mm -hmm. be, be a big challenge. Yes. This is called a pocket pal. So you want to keep this harmonica with you in your pocket or in your purse. There's a nice little zipper for that little case, so that'll be nice to have in your um, have in your bag. And working on a single note that's really well done in little pockets of time, because your hands get, get kind of cramped. Sure, ah, sure. Trying to relax, but it's hard to say relax when you're trying hard to do something. Have that harmonica with you at all times okay. so that you can whip out that harmonica. You can kind of, yes. uh, mm, mm. Yeah. when you get to work, don't go to work for like two or three minutes. Pull out the harmonica and uh, work on getting the, uh, get the hold just right and then play it for a little bit. Work on your single note. Five minutes later, get and go off and do something. Come back. Okay, maybe don't even worry about the hold. Try to get to a single note. It's these repetitive, yep. uh, multiple little sessions, small sessions that are going to help you. It's yes. much better to do these little pieces of time than one sit down for a half hour. Yeah. There will be things like our study songs. You will need sit down time. But for this type of thing, it's great to have the harmonica totally. around and practice every couple, you know, when you get a, when you get time to do mm -hmm. a couple moments. Be kind to yourself. It takes some time to get those single notes. Yeah. Now, remember if you play more than one note, it still sounds kind of cool. Right. Your next homework assignment is I want you to come back and you're going to play a folk song or two Ooh. or a melody or something. You remember, you're going to stay on the fourth hole and above. And a little clue for you is your home base is that four blow. So if you play... Wait, my music, my homework is a single note song? Uh, as much as you can. Oh, It'll Lord. probably sound like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But uh, we're basically trying to make the finding of the single notes okay. a little more fun than just trying to randomly play single notes. Okay. Yeah, so that's going to be your challenge. So that's it for our first lesson. And uh, what we'll be doing with the uh, videotaping of these lessons is that when you come in for your next lesson, what we're going to have Sharon do is she's going to go on camera. I'm not going to be there. And she's just going to take a couple minutes and talk just to you guys. Say, okay, this was easy. This was kind of hard. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm, I think I'm ready for my lesson. And okay. then we'll actually go on camera and we'll, we'll, we'll do our lesson. Sounds so good. Kind of be blogging to the, uh, to the student and sharing your progress. Yes. And uh, again, hopefully some of the same challenges you're having, the students will have. And, sure. And some of the things that are easy for you, et cetera. It's, it's all part of that journey. Cool. So uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And I uh, look forward to our next lesson.